What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to put to the test 8 random kitchen gadgets. So check this out. For the first gadget I got here, bamboo wooden foldable bread slicer. Have you ever seen something like that? When I saw it I was like I have to put it to the test. That's the coolest thing ever. Okay, let's open this up and see what it's all about. A quick instruction, I'm sure I can figure this out. Oh wow, it's just turning like that and boom, done. That's huge. I think it's supposed to fold this way. And now you got cutting board over here. If you like fresh bread like me, I buy bread like this, uncut, boom, like this. And then when I hold it, let's see if it works. I supposed to go like this with the knife. Wow, this is cool. That actually works. You know what? Life hack. Just keep the bread upside down, that way it will be easier to cut it. Wow, that's really cool. It actually does work. <coughs> Just gotta make sure you have that big knives. I wish I had a little bit of a bigger knife, but this is the biggest knife I got. You know what? Looking at the picture, I thought this thing will be a lot smaller than it is. But wow, look at that. Perfect bread slices, that's for sure. I like this gadget. I don't know, this is cool. Look, all the bread slices are pretty similar. Not super necessary, but definitely a cool gadget to have or try out. One more thing I forgot to use. This thing slides out in here. That way that bread cannot go anywhere. So that way you can just cut it really easily. What I also like about this gadget, it's really easy to put it away. Just turn it right here, put this board in, boom, the other way. Actually, maybe this board doesn't go in there. But yeah, it doesn't take too much space, just put it away somewhere. Pretty cool. For this gadget, I got here a hot dog dicer and I should have put it to the test when I did a video of eight hot dog gadgets, I just couldn't find it. So now I found it, let's see if it works or not. Very simple, as you can see, that's pretty sharp blade, not too sharp, but hot dogs are really soft already. So let's put a hot dog over here, a really standard hot dog, and let's try to slice it and dice it. Oh no! What did I do wrong? Well, you know what? I didn't like it that it was kind of closing it sideways because it wasn't in the middle. Being apart is probably even better. Let's try this. What kind of indestructible hot dog is this? You know what? Maybe I should have read the directions because... Yeah, they say just... Put the hot dog in, squish it, and then you're going to have a um, diced hot dog. What is happening? I don't know what kind of hot dog that is, but look at it. Let me get a plate. You know what? It sort of work. It's not as easy as I expected, but wow, look at that. That's the quickest uh, diced hot dog I ever made, that's for sure. Let me try this one more time. Hopefully this time it works way better. Oh. Oh. You know what? This time works a lot better. That I figured it out how to use it. Now I can use a knife or something to push it all out. You can even use a spoon or whatever. But look at it. That's a really fast way to dice the hot dog. That's for sure. So now that I figured it out how to use it, let me try to use it again and see if I can do it even easier and faster. Okay, put a hot dog in there and... Ooh, 
Ooh, that was painful. I think I cut myself. I'm so confused. How did I cut myself on the other side? This should be the sharp side. This shouldn't be a sharp side. Ouch, that was painful. You know what? I'm not using this gadget again. For this gadget, I got here a strawberry hauler. Let's check it out if it works or not. I got here a bunch of strawberries. Let's see how it works. I think, whoa, look at that. This is like a claw. This is fun. Uh, probably should look at the directions first. Simple directions. You push it out, pull it in a strawberry, let go and pull it out. Three step direction. Doesn't take a genius to figure it out, right? Pull it in. Push it to, close it, and turn it. Wow, that's cool. Wow, that works so well. Let's try this again. For the bigger strawberry, I can open it up bigger. Pull it in, turn it. Wow, this is awesome. This is my favorite. Plus, it's satisfying. I love that. Turn it, boom. I can do this all day. This is fun. Boom. Wow, look how beautiful this strawberry is now. Simple, very easy. Wow, too easy. My favorite gadget for sure. For the longest time I had this gadget and I thought it was kind of dumb, but it actually works so well. That's a really cool design. I like that ingenuity. Boom. For this gadget, I got here two tomato slices. One like this, looks like two plates. And one like that, I like this one even better. For the first gadget, let's see how it works. There is instruction, one, two, three. Fill it up with uh, layered tomatoes. Boom, I'm only gonna do half a pack. Then we're gonna put this on top like that. Wow, cool. This is what it looks like. And then we're going to go with the knife like this. No way, it works. You know what? There's a life hack to do same thing, but with just two plates. So, I don't know. It definitely works really well, it's awesome. But do you really need this gadget? You be the judge. But the second one, I like this one. This is really cool. Cutting tomatoes takes a long time, one by one. So this gadget probably will be pretty epic. So right here is holy, and on this side, it's blocked off. Okay, just stick tomatoes in like this. Boom, perfect fit, uh, except some of them kind of get stuck. But you know what, it works so, so, it works so far so good, I like it. Wow, how many tomatoes have we put? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tomatoes fits easily. And then we're just gonna go down like this. Wow, so satisfying. And now we can just dump them all out. And they all cut in half. Awesome, I love this gadget. You know what, I help cat and cut tomatoes all the time, so that's awesome. Definitely put it in my kitchen. For the next gadget, I got here soap detergent stand cup. And you know when your soap detergent runs off almost like um, one third, sometimes it's really slowly sipping down. So this way, you don't have to wait till it sips down, it just holds upside down so all the liquid easy to come out. Let's see how it works. So here it is, simple and twist. There's a little hole and then twist it in and there's closes it. Let's see if it actually fits. Man, it doesn't fit. What kind of bottle is this? Okay, this one adapter fits really easily. So there's adapter. So then we close it and then we can Hold it upside down like that. Wow, so cool. Let me show you close up. Look at that. Now all the liquid stays to the bottom. That way we don't have to wait. Sometimes that stuff is pouring so slowly, especially you can use it even with the shampoos and stuff. That's awesome. I like that a lot. Going to put it on my sink, definitely using this gadget. For this gadget, I got kiwi cutter. So it's for fruit salad, three easy steps on the other side. Just cut kiwi in half and then stick this thing in and twist. Let's see how easy it is to use or not. Cut kiwis in half, boom, and boom. This way, you don't wanna cut it this way. 
because it's supposed to stick this way in. And let's see, push it all the way in, boom, and now twist it. Oh, come on. Oh, nice. Kind of works halfway. Let me try this again. This is a learning progress. <clears throat> this key is kind of still green. Maybe that's why. Oh, my gosh. This is a mess. Try this again. Oh. I don't know. I can't figure it out how to use it because look at that. Maybe it's for the bigger kiwis and more ripe ones too. This is still pretty hard. Well guys, you be the judge. For this gadget I got avocado saver. Let's open it up and see what it's all about. Pop it open. So let's say you only need to use half of avocado. So I'm going to cut it open like this. So I only use the half of it. The second half, look at that. That's so funny. There is even space for the peat. You put it like this and then you put, stop a belt on it. Boom. And that way you save the avocado because it's not exposed to the oxygen. Actually, it works pretty good. It's pretty tight in there, especially if you had clean cut. I like it. Very cool. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below which gadget was your favorite. I think the most useful will be this one, the tomato slicer, because slicing tomatoes one by one takes a long time. So that's a really cool one. I think I'm gonna be using it for sure quite a bit. And also, I like this one a lot. That's all I got for today. Thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.